This video is going to finish the back flap or the back side of your volume, uh, sorry, your unit 10 volume flip book. We've already done the first two composite shapes, and now we're going to work on the last two questions. This is the upper right hand corner. The question is this object is made with a block of wood shaped like a cylinder. So we're starting off with a cylinder shape, this whole object here. A congruent cone. So let's take a look at a couple of things here. One, we're starting off with a cylinder. A congruent cone is cut out of each end so that the vertices of each cone touch. That's right here, class. So this cone, it tells us, the question tells us, this cone and this cone, they are congruent. If we can find the volume of one, we'll know the volume of the other. So they touch each other right at the apex, or right at the top point here. What is the volume of the wood left? So clearly, class, when it says the wood left, that means we're going to take a cylinder, our original shape, we're going to cut out these two congruent cones, and we're going to see what is left over after that. These other two problems from the previous videos, these were adding problems. We took a square prism and added it to a cylinder. We took a square prism and added it to a cylinder. In this case, we're taking a cylinder and we're going to cut out two cones. So the first thing we have to do is let's figure out the area of the cylinder. The cylinder first. Let's go ahead and pick a base. I'm going to say this uh, cylinder always has bases that are circled. There's our base. That means this must be our height. And if 12 inches is the diameter of the base, that means our radius, and I'm going to put this over here, that means our radius must equal 12 divided by 2, so our radius is 6 inches. We're going to need to know that. Okay, so our cylinder, the base of a cylinder is always a circle. That means our base area is going to be pi r squared. We know that our radius now is 6, so it's going to be pi times 6 squared, and that is 36 pi inches squared. There is the area of the base of our cylinder. We've already identified our height. Our height has to be then 12 inches, the distance between the two bases of our cylinder. So our volume is going to be base area times height, which is 36 pi times 12 and that's going to be actually we've got to put approximately here that's approximately let's go ahead and put that in we'll move this over to this side and clear it 36 pi times 12 is equal to 1357.16 I'm going to leave that 1357.17, 1357.17. inches squared. There's the volume of our cylinder. Now let's find the volume of one of our cones. One of our cones. We can use the same base, the same base for this. And then our height, if we take a look at it, if these two cones meet exactly at this point right here, that means we know that the distance between this point and this point here from the base up to the halfway point is actually 6 inches. So that means we know the height of this cone is equal to 6 inches. So the height is 6 inches. I'm going to circle that. All right, well, let's figure out our base area. We already know our base area. It's pi r squared. We have the same base for the cone as we did for the cylinder. That's pi 6 squared, which is 36 pi inches squared. Our height of our cone now is equal to 6 inches. And that means the volume of our cone is going to be 1 third of the area of the base. Whoops of the area of the base times the height. So it's one-third. I'm going to write this the way I would put it in my calculator. One divided by three. 
times the base area, which is 36 pi, times the height, which is 6. Let's put that in our calculator. So parenthesis, 1 divided by 3, parenthesis, 36 pi, and then open parenthesis, 6, and we'll press equal, 226.19. 226.19. Nine. There's something different about this one. Let's say, no, that's right, 226.19, that's correct. So approximately 226.19 inches cubed. And I just realized, class, that up here on volume, I put inches squared, and that should have been inches cubed. All right, to find the volume of what's left over now, we're going to have to take the total volume, which was 1357.17. We're going to subtract the volume of our cone, which is 226.19. But class, there are two of those. So I'm going to have to subtract it twice. I could put 1357 minus 226 minus 226, or I can just multiply those two cones by those cones by 2, and that gives me two of them. And let's put that in our calculator and see what we get. 1357.17 minus 2 times 226.19. Close parenthesis equal 904. 0.79, I can round that to 904.89, oops, that's going to be 904.8 inches cubed. There is our final answer for the area of this shape where we took a cylinder and we cut out two cones. Let's go to the next one, <clears throat> last one. <coughs> This water tank is made with a cylinder and a cone. You'll find this a lot in, in objects that are made class. If you just visualize the whole thing, you'll see cylinders, cones, rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, and all sorts of objects. This water tank is made with a cylinder and a cone. What is the volume of the object? Well, clearly we're going to add these two together. We've got a cylinder on the top, on the top and a cone on the bottom. Let's do the cylinder first. If I can actually spell, cylinder is going to be first. Okay, let's pick a base. Well, let's just use this as the base. A cylinder always going to have a circle as a base. We know the radius is six feet. Well, if this is the radius, then the only dimension from the cylinder we need that's left over is the height, and that's 10. So the height of this cylinder is 10, which is the distance between the two circles. Let's go ahead and calculate this out. The base of a cylinder is a circle, which is found, the area is found with pi r squared. That's pi times 6 squared, which is 36 pi feet squared. Notice again, I'm not going to put this pi in the calculator yet. I don't want to round my numbers until I get to the final answer. Our height is equal to 10 feet. That means the volume of this cylinder is base area times height, which is 36 pi, 36 pi times 10. We'll put that in our calculator, and we will get uh, approximately 1,131. Let's check the decimals out. 36 pi times 10 equals... 1130.97. So let's do 1130.97, and that's feet cubed. All right, let's figure out the area or the volume of our cone. Looks like we've got the same base as the cylinder, so we can just go ahead and figure out what the cone base area is, the base area is pi, sorry, not base area, base volume is pi r squared, which is pi 6 squared, which is 36 pi feet squared. Now we got a problem. Our problem is our height. 
This eight feet class, this is not the height of the cone. The height of the cone starts here. Let's put this in a different color so we see it. There is about the center. Our height is right here. And that's not a very good line. I'll try it one more time. There is the height of our cone. We don't know the height, but we do know something. It's kind of interesting. If you take a right cone and you just draw a triangle that touches the center of the base, the center of the circular base, and it, it has its hypotenuse is the slant height, this is a right triangle. And we know that this is 6 feet. So we can actually use Pythagorean theorem to find the height of this cone. Let's do that. The leg is 6 squared plus our unknown height squared equals 8 squared. That's 36 plus our unknown height squared is 64. Subtract 36 from both sides and we'll get h squared equals 28. And that means h is equal to the square root of 28, which is approximately, answer is 5. Let's get it to two decimal places. The square root of 28, oops, let's clear our calculator. The square root of 28 is equal to 5.29. So 5.29 feet. Well, now we know what our height is. So our height is 5.29 feet. That means the volume of our cone is one third times the base area times the height, which is 1 divided by 3 times the base area, which is 36 pi, times the height, which is 5.29. And I'm running a space here, so I'm going to write it right here. Our volume is equal to, let's do this right now, 1 divided by 3 times 36 pi times 5.29 equals 199.4. So 199.43. 199.43 feet cubed. Now all we need to do is add those two together. So our total volume is the volume of the cylinder, which is 11, if I can get that written correctly, So now to find the total volume, we take the volume of the cylinder, which is 1,130.97. We're going to add the volume of the cone, 199.43. Let's add those up. 1130.97 plus 199.43, and that equals 1330.97. 1330.4 feet cubed, and there is our answer to the volume of this shape.